Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a really simple, versatile health system. We are basically going to create a health component that you can then attach to any actor and give them health. So to create this, it's really simple. We are just going to create a health component, which is an actor component. So go into your content driver, right click and go into the blueprint class. Then we want to create actor component. Now I'm going to call it AC health because AC is a shortcut for actor component. Once you have it open, we can create a couple variables. And the first one is going to be called current HP. And we are gonna set it to type float. The next one is gonna be called max HP. The third one is gonna be called regeneration rate. Then another one is gonna be called regeneration amount. Another one, and this one is gonna be called shoot regenerate. And we are gonna change this to the type of boolean. Once you have your variables, you can compile and set some base values if you want to. But all of these are gonna be settable per actor, so you don't have to do it in the actor component itself. Since we are already in the event graph, what we are gonna do here is we are gonna go into the event begin play. We are gonna get a branch, plug it into the event begin play. The variable that we created should regenerate is gonna go into the branch. This is basically just to check at the begin play if we actually want that actor to be able to passively regenerate HP. Then if we want to to, then we are gonna drag from the room and we are gonna set timer by function name. In here we are gonna fill in the name of our function that is gonna regenerate our health. We are gonna create that in a second. For now I'm just gonna fill in regenerate health. Of course you can fill in whatever you are gonna call your function. Then to the time we are gonna plug in the regeneration rate. We are gonna set it to looping that way it's gonna go indefinitely. Then we are gonna drag from the return value and we are gonna promote it to variable and we are gonna call it region time. And this is just gonna allow us to basically get a handle on it. So I'm just gonna quickly compile this. And then I'm gonna create a new custom event here. And I'm gonna call this death. Then from that, we want to create an event dispatcher. And this is gonna get called on the actor that it's attached to. So we're gonna go into the event dispatcher, which is just under variables on the left side. Click on plus, and I'm gonna call this death dispatcher. Drag it in, and as you can see, we have a couple options. We want to call it here, plug that into death. That's all we need to do in the event graph. So now let's create the functions that are gonna allow us to take damage, restore health, and all that. So first, let's go into the functions, and we are gonna create a function called restore health. In this function, we want to create an input, so we'll click on the node here. Under details, we have inputs, so click on plus. And I'm gonna set the type to float, and I'm just gonna call it amount to restore. And we are gonna just get a branch. Plug that into the restore health. And we are gonna drag in our variable. So the current HP, we want to get it. Then we want to get our max HP. And then we want to get our current HP again, but this time set it. Then we are gonna drag from the current HP, search for plus or add. Then we are gonna add to it the amounts that we want to restore. And we want to check if this amount is greater than our maximum HP. So we are gonna search for greater. Plug that into the branch and then plug max HP into it. And this is just gonna check if when we heal, if we are overhealing our maximum HP because we would be at let's say 90 HP, heal for 20, but our max HP is 100, but we would be 110 out of 100. That just doesn't make sense. So if this is true, then we want to set our current HP to our maximum HP. So we are gonna just get our max HP again. Plug that into the set current HP. So we are setting it as the new current HP and then plug true into the set. Then here we can duplicate the current HP, plug it into false, and then if it's false, then we want to just set it to the new amount. So from this node, we are just gonna drag it in. The way this is gonna work is whenever we call this function, we are just gonna put in how much HP we want to restore. And then we are basically comparing that amount plus our current HP against our max HP. And if it is over or equal to it, then we are gonna set it to that value. And if it's not, then we are just gonna add it up. So we can compile this and create another function, which is gonna be a Move health. So we're gonna basically reverse the restore health function. So I'm gonna select the remove health, create another input, and I'm gonna call this amount to remove. And we are gonna keep it as float. We're gonna get a branch, plug it into the remove health, and again we are gonna get our current HP. This time we are gonna do a minus or subtract, plug that into the amount to remove. Then we are basically gonna check if it's lower or equal to zero. And then plug that into the branch. We are gonna leave this as zero. And then if it is true, which basically, and then if it's true, which triggers if we are at zero or below zero HP, we want to call the death event. So I'm gonna just drag in and search for death. And this is just to basically trigger the death event that's gonna be custom made per actor. Then from false, we want to get our current HP, set it, plug that into false, and we are gonna plug the subtraction into it. So basically either we die because we are below or equal to zero HP, or we are above that, in which case we are just setting the new value. Then after the current HP, I want to get another branch. Then I'm gonna get current HP, get it, 
and search for less and then we want to compare it to our max HP and plug that into the branch and then if it's true then we want to get our region timer get it search for and pause and we are gonna plug that into true so basically what this does is that once we take damage we want to check if we are below our max HP which if we are then we want to unpause the timer so that we can start regening health again so now we can create our last function which is gonna be regenerate health and keep in mind to name this whatever you named it in the set timer by function name because these names need to be exactly the same otherwise it's not gonna work so we are gonna get branch we are gonna plug it into the regenerate health and we are gonna get the shoot regenerate and plug it into it this is just to double check if we actually should be regenerating or not because there might be some times where you want to like stop regeneration through some special effect like a poison or something then we are gonna get a branch, plug that into true, and we are gonna get our current HP, get it. Then we are gonna get the regeneration amount and get it. We are gonna drag from current HP, search for plus or add, plug regeneration amount into the plus. Then we are gonna drag from this addition and we are gonna search for greater equal. Then we are gonna get our max HP, get it, and plug that into greater equal and plug that into the branch. So basically we are doing the exact same thing like the restore health. We are checking if we are max HP or not. And then if we are not, then we can go and get our current health, set it, plug that into the false, and then the addition into it. And this is just setting the new value. But if we are gonna be max HP after this tick, what we are gonna do is get our current HP, set it, get our max HP and get it, plug that into the set current HP, plug through into it and then we want to get our region timer get it and drag from it and search for post timer and then plug it into the current hp and the reason why we are doing this is just to kind of save a bit on performance otherwise your regeneration will keep going every second even though you already are at max hp so we are just checking if you are max hp if we are then we are just gonna pause it and then we are gonna unpause it whenever we take damage and that's all we need to do here in the component so to add our health component all you need to do is go into any blueprint that you want i have this third person character right here so i'm gonna under components click on add search for a health add it and now when we select the component here under default we have all those variables that we created so we can set this to be let's say current hp 100 then max hp also 100 and then i'm gonna set the regenerate to one and then a region amount to one as well and then we want to regenerate the region timer and death dispatcher we don't need to worry about and just like this your uh, character has health but how does it take damage well generally the easiest way would be just to use the damage system that's already built into the unreal engine so in the event graph in the actor you can just search for event any damage and this is basically gonna trigger whenever you take damage through that damage system then we can just drag the ac health in drag from it and search for remove health and then we can plug it into the event any damage and then damage into a mode to remove and this is gonna remove the health equal to the damage that we take so once you have that what about the death event well that's actually really easy to do as well you can just select the ac health go down here and then under events we have death dispatcher so we can click on plus this is basically just gonna get called whenever we reach the point of death which is zero or below hp so we can just create a custom event here and i'm gonna call this player death then we can just simply call it from the event dispatcher then we can compile save this and i'm just gonna do a quick setup here with some zones so i can show you how it works okay so we created a simple damage zone here where if we overlap it we take 25 damage and then on event tick we are gonna print out how much current hp we have and then on player death i'm gonna print out string called player has died so now when we are in play on the top left corner you can see we are printing 100 which is the amount of hp we set now if i walk into this damage zone we are at 75 and it's going up because we are regenerating one hp per second and now i'm gonna walk in and it should trigger the death event and as you can see it's triggered and we are printing the player has died and that's basically it and you can apply this to any actor that you want or players whatever you want to do you can also use this for other stats like mana for example so i hope you found this helpful if you did leave a like and subscribe it helps out a lot thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one bye